In this video, I would like to discuss the condition of floaters. If you imagine the eye as a camera with the lenses at the front and the photographic film at the back of the eye, between these two structures in the body of the camera is a clear jelly called vitreous. Sometimes, even from a young age, there can be some condensations within the jelly that create floaters in certain situations, such as looking at a clear blue sky or a white wall, and such floaters are innocuous. However, with the passage of time, the vitreous jelly becomes less jelly-like and more watery. And with the passage of time, the increased amounts of water within the jelly results eventually in a condition called a vitreous separation, when the jelly that is lining the back surface of the eye up against the retina pulls away from the back wall of the eye. And this condition affects most people at some time in their life and is usually associated with increased floaters as the jelly pulls away and condenses down into smaller lumps of floaters within the watery component of the eye cavity. This usually settles uh, as the floaters with pa the passage of time and with gravity move out of the way uh, and out of the visual axis and also the brain learns to uh, become accustomed to the uh, floaters and they become less of a problem. However, in some situations, and it is relatively rare, but some patients have abnormal vitreoretinal adhesion. That is to say they were born with abnormal adhesion between the jelly and the retina lining the back wall of the eye. And this does not cause any problems until such time as this jelly becomes sufficiently watery to create a vitreous separation with the jelly pulling away from the back wall of the eye. And in that situation, the jelly does not want to let go where there is this abnormal adhesion to the retina and pulls on the retina. Now, jelly pulling on the retina can cause a flashing light sensation for mechanical reasons. In a very similar way to poking your eye on the outside will create a flashing light sensation if you poke your eye with a finger. So the jelly pulling on the uh, retina from the inside creates a flashing light sensation. So if you were to develop a sudden onset of increasing floaters associated with flashing lights, it could be that this process is occurring within the eye and the jelly is pulling on the retina. Now, if the adhesion is very strong, the jelly eventually pulls sufficiently hard on the retina that it tears the retina. And if the retina tears, you can get a further increase in floaters due to pigment dispersing into the eye cavity or hemorrhage if a blood vessel is also torn at the time of the retinal tear. So a sudden onset of flashes and floaters needs to be uh, addressed very quickly because if a tear has developed in the retina, it can be treated adequately as an outpatient procedure with some laser treatment, which is surrounding the tear and spot one of the retina in place. If, however, a tear develops and goes untreated, the watery component of this jelly can now move underneath the retina by passing through the tear and the retina starts peeling away from the back wall of the eye, a retinal detachment. And that symptom is getting a blurring of vision with a shadow in the periphery of your vision moving towards the centre. And that certainly requires urgent attention, as if left untreated, the vision will go completely. And if you have developed a retinal detachment, it's better to get this treated before the central part of the retina detaches. So, in summary, a sudden onset of floaters associated with flashing lights is a retinal tear until proved otherwise. If a retinal tear develops, it can be easily treated as an outpatient procedure to surround the tear with laser to spot weld it in place. If left untreated, there is a risk a retinal detachment could occur with fluid going underneath the retina and requiring a surgical procedure to fix.